Hello everyone, this is Jeevita, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, Kesa College of Arts and Science, Women, Tirchungur. Now we are going to discuss the paper function analysis in Unit 1, already we discussed. Now we are going to see Unit 2 and 3, that is Hilbert space, the title of Hilbert space in definition 1, first definition in that product. Three following conditions are satisfied. First one is linearity, Hermitian property. Third one, norm h square equal to h comma h. Next definition, unitary space. Yeah, unitary space is a linear space together with an inner product. Next definition, Hilbert space. Yeah, complete unitary space is called a Hilbert space. Next named theorem, Cauchy squares inequality. That is norm modulus h comma y less than or equal to norm h into norm y. In uh, this theorem, we use quadratic polynomial discriminant b square minus 4ac less than or equal to 0. Uh, this condition uh, here, which uh, use this condition, we get uh, the Cauchy squares inequality that is h comma y less than or equal to norm h into norm y. Next definition orthogonal. Orthogonal h by unitary space h and y to orthogonal each other h comma y equal to 0 m comma n contains h that uh, therefore the uh, h and y be a orthogonal orthogonal complement that is denoted by m dash the condition is h uh, belongs to h h comma m equal to 0 for all m belongs to capital m Next to the named theorem, Rears representation theorem. That is the statement of uh, Rears representation theorem is let F be continuous linear transformations on Hilbert space H. Then there exists a unique element U, sorry, Y belongs to H such that F X equal to F Y of X equal to X comma Y for all X belongs to H. That is the Rears representation theorem. In given FB continuous linear transformation on H, then there exists Y belongs to H such that this is the Rias representation theorem that is F of X equal to F Y of X equal to X comma Y inner product of X comma Y. Next lemma, let H be uni unitary space M contains H be arbitrary subset H be uh, unitary space M be arbitrary subset then M orthogonal complement M is a closed linear subspace of H. Proof. Let H comma Y belongs to orthogonal complement of M. M belongs to capital M. We have lambda 1 of H plus lambda 2 of Y comma M equal to we write lambda 1 of, 1 of H comma M plus lambda 2 of Y comma M equal to 0. This shows that M com orthogonal complement of M is a linear subspace. Second proof, co any converging sequence Hn of elements has its limit in orthogonal complement of M. Suppose limit n tends to infinity to Hn equal to H. Hn belongs to orthogonal complement of M. H belongs to H. Therefore, Hn comma m equal to 0. Since the inner product is continuous in first previous lemma, we see the previous lemma, uh, inner product is continuous to prove, uh, implies h comma m. The source h belongs to orthogonal complement m, hence orthogonal complement of m is closed. This proves the theorem. Next definition orthogonal sum h1 h2 are hilbert spaces h1 is defined by h1 belongs to h1 and h2 belongs to h2 we direct sum of hilbert spaces h1 and h2 we write h1 comma h2 comma y1 comma y2 equal to h1 comma y1 1 h2 comma y2 into 2 is inner product of h Inner product H becomes a Hilbert space H equal to denoted capital H equal to H1 direct sum of H2. This is the orthogonal sum of H1 and H2. Next definition isomorphic. Two Hilbert spaces H1 and H2 are isomorphic 
if there exist bijective linear mapping pi such that h1 to h2 such that pi of x comma pi of y of 2 equal to x comma y of 1 x comma y belongs to h1 pi is a isometric isomorphism or unitary map nested definition adjoint operator the correspondence y tends to z is linear the linear operator defined by t star by z equal to t star of y by definition t of x comma y equal to x comma t star of y x comma y belongs to h then t star is called a adjoint operator of t next preposition let t1 t and t2 belongs to l of h then t star is a bound or linear operator with norm t star equal to norm t we have this following a b c d and e proved first one is t1 plus t2 of conjugate equal to t1 star plus t2 star equal to sorry and next b lambda t whole star equal to lambda bar t star then t1 t2 whole star equal to t2 star into t1 star that is conjugate if t is invertible in l of h and so t star of minus 1 equal to t1 t power minus 1 of star finally t double star equal to t that is nested definition self adjoint if self adjoint if this condition is satisfied only we said self adjoint a of a a star equal to a normal a star a equal to a a star that is commutative property like okay next definition unitary and isomorphic isometric unitary t star t equal to i equal to t t star if you write norm t of x equal to norm x then it's said to be isometric next definition self adjoint operator a is positive if this condition is satisfied we said self adjoint operator a is positive inner product a x comma x greater than or equal to 0 we write a greater than or equal to 0 if a and b are self adjoint we write a greater than or equal to b if a minus b greater than or equal to 0 next definition resolvent set denoted by rho of t okay we write r lambda of t into t minus lambda i equal to t minus lambda i of r lambda t equal to i resolvent t is denoted by r lambda of t nested definition spectrum is denoted by sigma of t next eigen value lambda be a eigen value eigen vector that is x denoted by x okay eigen values find to find eigen values for caustic equations already we um, in previous uh, we know that the result uh, t minus lambda i of x equal to 0 point spectrum that is denoted by sigma p of t next topic the spectrum of adjoint self adjoint operators first preposition statement let t equal to t star be a self adjoint operator in l of h then lambda belongs to rho of t if and only if there exists c greater than 0 such that norm t minus lambda i of h greater than or equal to c norm x proof in this proof we used bounded or uh, sorry resolvent set uh, that is uh, r lambda of t we write and uh, the condition is satisfied so t minus lambda is injective one to one that is one to one mapping the range of t minus lambda is closed we write h1 equal to t minus lambda i of h in by using Cauchy sequence yn 
such that y m i a norm y m minus y n tends to zero as m comma n tends to infinity by assumption norm y m minus y n equal to norm t minus lambda i of h sum h n minus h sum greater than or equal to c norm h n minus h sum. That thus h n is a conjugate sequence in h h is complete h n tends to h for sum h belongs to h. Therefore, t minus lambda is continuous. H1 is closed to subspace. By Rias representation theorem, h equal to h1, direct sum of h2, that is h1, con, uh, h1 complement. Thus, t of u comma u equal to lambda bar of u comma u, t equal to t star, it implies the left side is a real. By injectivity, t minus lambda i comma u equal to 0, that is h1 equal to h. Finally, we get s equal to r lambda of t. Next theorem, every divisor of 0 is a topological divisor of 0. Proof, b belongs to a, b a divisor of 0. That is, there exists a not equal to 0, such that a, b equal to b, a equal to 0. To prove, B is a topological divisor of 0. Let it is at n equal to a by norm a. Therefore, norm is at n equal to 1. That is, is at n b tends to 0. Hence, b is a topological divisor of 0. The proof is complete. Next def uh, definition spectrum a b a Banach algebra and is x belongs to capital A. Then, spectrum of h is defined to the following subsets of a complex plane sigma of x equal to lambda divided by x minus lambda is singular. Next definition radical. The radical R of A is defined to the proper left ideal which is not properly contained in any other proper left ideal. Next definition semi simple. A is said to be a semi simple if it is if its radical equals the zero ideal and is each non-zero element of A is outside of some maximal left ideal. Next theorem, if M is a closed linear subspace of Hilbert space H, then H equal to M direct sum M complement. Orthogonal. M and M orthogonal or orthogonal closed linear subspace of H by theorem, by previous theorem shows that it is a closed linear subspace of H. Uh, we prove C M uh, that is equal to H and by theorem is it not perpendicular of M plus M perpendicular. That is the proof to be concluded if uh, suffices to observe since M and M uh, bar are uh, disjoint there. Therefore, the hence uh, the theorem is proved. Next theorem, if t is an operator on h for which t x comma x equal to 0 for all x, then t equal to 0 proof. The identity of uh, t of alpha x plus, plus beta y comma alpha x plus beta y minus modulus alpha square of t x comma x minus beta square of t y comma y that is uh, it right equal to alpha beta bar of t x comma y plus alpha bar beta of t y comma x. If we put alpha value equal to 1 and beta value equal to 1 then uh, it becomes t x comma y plus t y comma x equal to 0. If we put alpha equal to i and beta equal to 1, we get i of t x comma y minus i of t y comma x equal to 0. Dividing these three, and uh, sorry, uh, dividing the equations 3 by i and adding the result of 2, equation 2, which yields 2 of x, uh, t x comma y equal to 0. So, t x comma y equal to 0 and the proof is complete. Next theorem, if P is a projection on a closed linear subspace M of H, then M is invariant under an operator T, which implies T P equal to P T P. Proof, M is invariant under T and H is an arbitrary vector in H. Then T P H is in M. So, T P T P H equal to T P H and P T 
P equal to TP. Conversely, if TP equal to PTP and HC is a vector in M, then THC equal to TPHC equal to PTPHC is also in M. So, M is invariant under T. Lemma. If R is an element of R, then 1 minus R is regular. By lemma, just prove that it is an element is yes, such that s of 1 comma 1 sorry 1 s of 1 minus r equal to 1 so s is right regular and s equal to 1 minus of minus s of r the fact that r is a left ideal implies minus s of r is in r along with the r and another lemma by using lemma already we shows that left regular so, S is both left regular and right regular. It is regular with the inverse of 1 minus R. So, 1 minus R is also a regular. Thank you.